Today we're actually going to look at the building behind me. It's George's Dock Building. It was built as the headquarters for the Mersey Tunnels and finished in 1934. It's one of the most iconic buildings on the waterfront, but not many people know what goes on behind the scenes. Okay, well, we're stood in one of the main exhaust chambers now for the Queensway Tunnel. Um, without these fans here, you wouldn't be able to travel through the tunnels. Tunnels are over two miles long, so you have to ventilate them. Across both tunnels, we probably have 80,000 to, 80, to 90,000 vehicles a day. And we still use the same ventilation that we used when we opened in 1934, just with more modern systems behind the scenes. As you know, cars produce carbon monoxide, so we have to make sure the levels of that are kept very low in the tunnels. And how we do that? Well, we pump in huge amounts of fresh air and our big extraction fans take out the exhaust fumes. We're in the engineering control room for the Mersey tunnels. In here, the guys are working two-man shifts. Um, there's ten in the team and they work 24-7, 365 days a year. So there's always somebody in this control room. They look after the pumping, the ventilation and the power supplies for both the tunnels from this room. So what you see in here are all the bits of equipment we need to keep the tunnels running safely and smoothly. Now what you can see along this side of us is um, the control panels which were installed in 1966 by English Electric. And at the time they were state of the art, uh, best you could get. Over the years obviously we have to progress and what we have now it's all fibre optics and it's actually transferred to the computer screens that you can see behind me. Right, we've now come out uh, across to the side of our building and we're actually underneath Brunswick Street but we're in a hidden area of the city that not many people know about. We call this our bridge room because that's exactly what we're stood in. It's an old bridge structure. George's Dock Building takes its name from one of the original docks of Liverpool. George's Dock itself was a large rectangular sandstone box dock built in 1771 and there are still remnants of it left today. Uh, in this room you can see the original dock wall from 1771. At this point we're now stood right in the bottom of the tunnel. The tunnel itself is a 44 foot tube. Above the tunnel you have 20 feet of rock, sandstone rock, and then above that about 80 feet of riverbed silt and clay. So at this point probably about 140 feet below the river. Okay, this area of the tunnel we call Central Avenue. Very large area underneath the road deck. So we're stood here now with the road and the traffic going above our heads. The idea for this was that they hoped to run double-decker trams down here. The original plan for the tunnel was as a double-decker tunnel. Okay, we're in the first of our seven emergency refuges which run under the river section of the tunnel. These were put in about eight or nine years ago and they're designed to take people off the road deck in the event of a major emergency. So these are here for an extremely major event to happen. So actually we hope we never have to use them. If you'd like to come on the tour, um, we have an email address which is tours at merseytravel.gov.uk or if you look on the Mersey Travel website there's a link to us on there. And we have a phone number, which is 0151 330 4504. We do these tours all year round. We do three evenings a week and we do Saturdays. Um, so we'd love to see you on the tour. They're only £5.